Welcome back to What's the 401 Sports. Mike, we're about a month away from the beginning of NBA free agency, and rumor has it that the Los Angeles Lakers are looking to make a deal for the right offer. Mike, I'm going to ask you to put on your GM hat and tell me, if you were the GM of the Lakers, what would your trade offer or your trade package look like? Well, I think one thing that they could look, then they would never do this. One one thing that they could do is look to shop Lonzo Ball. I mean, he just had he had a very good rookie season, and but just the way that his father is talking about the front office and the head coach, uh, that's something that they could look into. Obviously, the Minnesota Timberwolves could possibly be looking to shop Carl Anthony Towns. So maybe if the Lakers look to shop some of their younger players, uh, so that they could try to maybe lure some of these free agents that we've been talking about for a long time. Uh, maybe that could be possible as well. We all know that the Lakers are keeping their options open, right, with LeBron James, Paul George, and, of course, Kawhi Leonard as well. I think that they're in a good spot, though, despite the fact that uh, they have this young talent. They, they didn't necessarily make the playoffs as some thought that they would, specifically LeVar Ball. Um, but they've got, um, they're in a good spot here because a lot of things can go their way. If some of these lucrative playoff uh, or these lucrative free agents don't want to sign with the Lakers in the offseason, they still have a good core of young talent that they could wind up uh, either holding on to or trying to, you know, build for the future. Well, we'll all see how it all plays out. Yeah. So if, if I'm a Lakers GM, I'm going to try to get the most for giving up the least. And so I think one of my packages would include. Kyle Kuzma, Julius Randle, and a 2019 draft pick. I'm going to try my best to hang on to Brandon Ingram. I think that he has a high ceiling, and I don't want to necessarily give up. Right. But my offer has to be enough for them to pick up the phone, not only pick up the phone, but seriously give thought to what I'm proposing. So my package number two which I want to avoid at all costs, is uh, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, and a draft pick. Um, I don't think that uh, the Lakers will give up Lonzo Ball because the, that's their number two draft pick, and there was a lot of hype surrounding him. Um, so I don't think that they'll give him up. At Brandon Ingram, they'll give up, I think, begrudgingly if they have to, if it means they get a LeBron, a Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Oh, Carl Anthony Towns, you mentioned. That's an interesting, uh, that would be an interesting addition. I think that, you know, you, as a Lakers GM, you want to keep your option open. You don't want to necessarily fully gut your team to get some of these free agents. With LeBron, you may have to. Uh, but Paul George and Kawhi Leonard could be uh, really viable options because they are from the the LA area and have expressed interest in going back to California and playing in LA. So I think, you know, the Lakers have a legit shot.